Section 1. The Power of a Well-Structured Essay Have you ever read an essay that just flowed effortlessly from one point to the next? It felt like the writer was speaking directly to you, guiding you through their thoughts with ease. You were hooked from the first sentence, eager to read more. You understood every point the writer made, and it all made perfect sense. That's the power of a well-structured essay. It captivates and informs. It's like a roadmap, guiding the reader through your thoughts in a clear and engaging way. Each section leads naturally to the next. Why is structure so important? What makes it the backbone of effective writing? Because it helps your reader understand your message without confusion or frustration. A well-structured essay is easy to follow and comprehend. It makes complex ideas accessible. When your ideas are presented in a logical order, your reader can focus on what you're saying, not how you're saying it. This clarity enhances their engagement. Think of it like building a house. You need a blueprint to ensure everything fits together perfectly. You wouldn't start building walls without a solid foundation, right? The same principle applies to writing. The same goes for essays. A clear structure is essential. A strong structure is the foundation for a clear, impactful piece of writing. It supports your ideas and arguments. So how do you create this structure? What steps should you follow? It all starts with understanding the key components of an essay. The introduction, body paragraphs and conclusion. Each part has a specific role to play. Let's dive into each section and explore how to make them shine. We'll look at techniques to craft compelling introductions, develop coherent body paragraphs, and write memorable conclusions. Section 2. Crafting a Captivating Introduction The introduction is your first impression, your chance to grab the reader's attention and make them want to keep reading. It's the moment where you either hook them or lose them. Think of it as the opening scene of a movie. It needs to be exciting, intriguing, and set the stage for what's to come. Just like a movie, your introduction should create anticipation and curiosity. But how do you write an introduction that captivates? Start with a hook. This could be a thought-provoking question, a surprising statistic, or a relatable anecdote. The hook is your tool to draw readers in, something that piques the reader's interest and makes them want to learn more. It should resonate with them on a personal level. Once you have their attention, introduce your topic and state your main argument or thesis statement. This is where you lay the foundation for your essay. This is the central idea you'll be exploring throughout your essay. Make sure it's compelling and clearly articulated. Make it clear, concise and easy to understand. Avoid jargon and complex language that might confuse your reader. Finally, give your reader a brief overview of what they can expect to learn in the rest of the essay. This sets the stage for the journey ahead. This acts as a roadmap, guiding them through your thoughts and preparing them for the journey ahead. A well-crafted introduction not only grabs attention, but also provides a clear path for your readers to follow. Section 3. Building Strong Body Paragraphs Now that you have a captivating introduction, it's time to build the meat of your essay, The Body Paragraphs. This is where you develop your arguments, provide evidence, and elaborate on your ideas. Each body paragraph should focus on one main point that supports your thesis statement. Think of them as building blocks, each contributing to the overall structure and strength of your argument. Start each paragraph with a clear topic sentence that introduces the main point. Then, provide evidence to support your claim. This could include statistics, examples, anecdotes, or expert opinions. Make sure to explain how your evidence supports your point and connect it back to your thesis statement. Don't just state facts. Analyze them and show their significance. Section 4. The Art of Transitioning Between Ideas Imagine watching a movie where the scenes jump abruptly from one to another, leaving you confused and disoriented. The lack of smooth transitions can make it difficult to follow the storyline, causing frustration and a lack of engagement. That's what it's like to read an essay with poor transitions. The reader feels lost, unable to grasp the connection between ideas, and the overall message becomes muddled. Transitions are the bridges that connect your ideas, making your writing flow smoothly from one point to the next. Just as a bridge provides a path over obstacles, Transitions guide your reader through the complexities of your argument. They help your reader follow your train of thought 
and understand the relationship between your ideas. Without these bridges, your writing can feel disjointed and your arguments weak. Use transition words and phrases to signal shifts in your argument, introduce new ideas, and connect different parts of your essay. These words act as cues, helping the reader anticipate what's coming next. Words like, however, therefore, in addition, and for example, can help guide your reader through your thought process. They provide clarity and structure, making your writing more coherent and persuasive. Think of transitions as signposts on a road trip. Just as signposts guide travellers, transitions guide your readers through the journey of your essay. They tell your reader where you've been, where you're going and how to get there. This guidance is crucial for maintaining the reader's interest and ensuring they understand your message. By using clear and effective transitions, you'll create a seamless reading experience for your audience. Your ideas will flow naturally, making your writing more engaging and easier to follow. Section 5. Creating a memorable conclusion. You're almost there. You've crafted a captivating introduction, built strong body paragraphs, and used smooth transitions to connect your ideas. Now, it's time to wrap it all up with a memorable conclusion. Your conclusion is your last chance to leave a lasting impression on your reader. It should summarize your main points, restate your thesis statement in a new and insightful way, and leave your reader with something to think about. Avoid simply repeating what you've already said. Instead, synthesize your ideas and offer a fresh perspective on your topic. You can also use your conclusion to call your reader to action, encourage further reflection, or pose a thought-provoking question. Section 6. The importance of proofreading and editing. You've poured your heart and soul into your essay. You've crafted a masterpiece of words brimming with brilliant insights and compelling arguments. But before you hit that submit button, there's one crucial step left, proofreading and editing. Think of proofreading and editing as polishing a diamond. You've already found the precious gem, now it's time to make it shine. By carefully reviewing your work, you'll catch any errors in grammar, spelling, punctuation and style. Read your essay slowly and carefully, paying attention to every word, sentence and paragraph. It can be helpful to read your work aloud or ask a friend to review it for you. Fresh eyes can often spot errors that you might miss. In the section 7, finding your unique writing voice. In the world of writing, your voice is your fingerprint, unique and distinct. It's what sets you apart from the millions of other writers out there and makes your work stand out from the crowd. Your writing voice is a reflection of your personality, your experiences, and your perspective on the world. It's about finding the words that feel authentic to you and using them to connect with your readers on a deeper level. Don't be afraid to let your personality shine through in your writing. Use humor, wit, and personal anecdotes to make your writing more engaging and relatable. The more you write, the more comfortable you'll become with expressing yourself authentically on the page. Section eight, overcoming writer's block. We've all been there. You sit down at your computer, ready to write, but your mind is blank. The cursor blinks mockingly at you, and the pressure mounts. You're facing the dreaded writer's block. Writer's block can stem from a variety of factors, from fear of failure to lack of inspiration. But don't let it discourage you. There are ways to overcome this common obstacle and get your creative juices flowing again. One effective technique is free writing. Set a timer for 10 to 15 minutes and write whatever comes to mind without worrying about grammar, spelling, or even making sense. The goal is to simply get words on the page and break through the mental barrier. Section 9. Resources for further improvement. Congratulations. You've learned the fundamentals of structuring an essay for maximum impact. But the journey of mastering the art of writing is an ongoing one. There's always something new to learn, explore and improve upon. Luckily, you don't have to go it alone. There are countless resources available to help you further develop your writing skills, from online courses and workshops to books and writing communities. Don't be afraid to seek out feedback from other writers. Join a writing group or take a class to hone your craft. The more you invest in your writing, the more confident and skilled you'll become.